Hello, hello, Facebook friends and family. It's me, your favorite realtor, rockin' real estate with Regina and Caldwell Banker Heritage. Sitting right next to me is Chris Hall, and Chris owns Hall's Roofing and Construction. That's right, Hall's Roofing and Construction. You're based out of Trenton, Ohio. Oh, yeah. How long have you been doing roofing? A little over 20 years. Wow, so, that's a long time. A long time. So. Not only do I refer Chris out to my clients in real estate, uh, but he also does work for me too, so we appreciate that. And you've got a lot of realtors out there. Yes, we do quite a few. Yeah, so you, few. you're under the gun like we're under the gun. Yeah, absolutely, every day. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle that pressure? Uh, just deal with it one day at a time. That's right. One That's day right. at a time. So need. let's talk a little bit. It's the season. We just got out of winter. A lot of water, a lot of snow. A lot of rain, a lot of snow, a lot of issues. Yeah. What's so, that doing for you in the roofing business? Last couple of weeks has been very hectic, very busy. Okay. It's It's been uh, a little overwhelming at times, but it's a yeah. good problem to have. Yeah. You what do you think the roof. typical, uh, when someone gets a new roof, mm -hmm. right, uh, and you do a, a brand new one. So this is a tear off. Uh, you just went from the wood, you put a brand new shingle on it. Right. What's the typical life expectancy of that? Your typical shingles are all 110 mile an hour dimensionals okay. uh, now. Um, that's pretty much standard. The standard also is between a 35 year and a limited lifetime manufactured warranty shingle, but they're basically, you're going to get about 30, 35 years out of them anyway. I don't care if they say limited lifetime manufacturers, okay. warranty 50 year, they're all about the same. Okay. Wind, sun, hail, weather does its damage, yeah. irregardless. I mean, so. That's about the expectation. So about 30, 35 years. 30, 35 years. Even though the shingle warranty says maybe 50. Right. Typically. But you know that, that beats the old three tabs that we used to have. Uh, okay. Those, those are only like a point five year warranty on those. But still they only lasted about 50 years. Okay. If they're going to be Sure. They're only rated to 67 mile an hour rating, so we don't really know what they don't know that. Right. Yeah. And so when someone gets a new roof, um, obviously... Uh, you go out and you look at things like decking and the pipe boots and the chimney and you that's everything that's up there you address that at that time yes, right yes we address everything so when you do a new roof what's the tip when you say 30 to 35 years is that everything is that everything's good for 35 years what what's going what do we well, need to be aware of i guess when we do that everything but your pipe boots your pipe boots uh, on your roof it's like your car tires there's a little piece of rubber that seals that boot that comes from your bathroom Vent your bathroom, vent okay. your kitchen. Um, your shingles are going to last that long easily. But your your pipe boots, they've got a little piece of rubber that seals on those. And after about 10 to 12 years, you want to have them inspected and make sure there's no fissure cracks in them because okay. they dry rot just like any other piece of rubber. Yeah. They will dry rot. They will crack. And once they crack, water can seep right in. Okay. So, so if someone's got a new roof, they should in 10 to 12 years still maybe have someone Just have somebody it. come out and inspect it and, okay. and make sure... Everything's still as it should be. Everything looks good. Man, that's good advice. Uh, I know a little bit ago, Chris and I were talking about um, proper venting. Right. In an attic. Yes. Yeah. And so you had said to me, uh, you know, obviously water heaters and things have to be vented. Yes. Especially if they're gas. Yes. And what happens if they're not vented properly? If they're not vented properly, you're going to end up with a lot of moisture in your attic. Okay. A lot of moisture. Um, and a lot of CO2 gases builds up in the attic. Oh, wow. Which is a, is, it's a danger to you and your family and your pets. Sure. Uh, and then the moisture will also, in time, become mold because it can't escape out of there. So is there a remedy for that? I mean, what do you do? You have to have proper venting. I mean, your plumber, when he does the uh, water heater or your central air guy, heating air sure. guy, does your your uh, units, he needs to make sure it's vented through the, through the roof adequately. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to end up with issues. Yeah. Um, and then you also need to make sure on your roof, there's a lot of houses I come across that they just don't have adequate venting. Um, you, you need so many box vents per square of shingles or ridge cap up top, and then your soffit vents. A lot of times you'll have, uh, I just come across one the other day on Jackson Road, they had uh, blown in insulation. And you've got, the air comes in underneath your soffit, comes in, travels up through your roof, and out the vents up the top. Okay. It vents it adequately. And lets moisture, heat, yeah, in the summertime flow out of there and everything. So what happens if they're okay? So let's talk about that. What the venting? Mm -hmm. 
how does that run in conjunction with like um, the insulation that's blown into the attic? Does it cause pressure? Because I've walked into where there's been some ceiling cracks. Right. And I've heard that that's what's caused it, is that there wasn't proper venting. If generally the cellulose or the pink uh, R12, R15, uh -huh. generally won't crack a ceiling unless okay. it's got wet. Now, if it gets wet, it gets heavy. Okay. You know, and it can crack it. Um, a lot of the cracking sometimes you'll get on those because there's not adequate ventilation up there and it gets hot in that attic. And then it also, not only what, it can crack the drywall, but on your shingles, it deteriorates the life expectancy of those shingles. Okay. It, it takes the life expectancy right out of them. Ouch. It gets too hot in the attic and they start to curl up. Yeah. So there's a lot of responsibilities, you know, and that's what I tell people when they buy homes because I work with a lot of first time home buyers. <laughs> a lot of responsibilities from the yes, roof. To the ground, Absolutely. right? Uh, Absolutely. It's a big deal. It's one of the biz biggest investments that you'll make. And then, yes. so you don't only just do roofing, but you do what? We do roofing, windows, uh, doors, siding, gutters, soffit work. Okay. So, so you're just like the all-round construction. Everything outside. Everything outside. <laughs> well, that was a good point. Good job. Yeah. Everything outside. So, um, so if you guys are in the market for a roofer uh, or any type of windows, doors, soffit, uh, I'm sure Chris Hall would be more than happy to uh, come to your service. Absolutely. Uh, and you're, you, how do they find you if they don't reach me? You can look me up on Facebook at Halls Roofing and Construction. Okay. Or you can just uh, call me at 513-377-2095. That's right. That'll get a hold of me 24 hours a day. Yeah, and I think I posted, did we have his business card? And so Brian Kunda, if you all know Brian, he's my camera guy. We love Brian. He does real estate too. Um, so he put... Chris's number. I don't know where we're at. It's over here, he says. Uh, so his card's up there. My number's up there. Um, I appreciate you coming out. And well, let me tell you something you. about Chris. Let me tell you. When I call you, you are like Johnny on the spot. And I appreciate that. Because no this is a fast-paced business. Yes, and you guys are always under the gun. I'm telling you. And always it is, under the gun with these inspections. And it's so nice to have uh, professionals in the field who understand that right. uh, and know that we're serving people and that they have the same goals as we do. Absolutely. And let me tell you what I did. I brought you something. <laughs> do you like cookies? Why, well, absolutely. There's some Girl Scout cookies. Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's eating some Girl Scout cookies. That's right, folks. Well, listen, Chris, we appreciate you being here today. For those of you who need any construction on the outside of the house, that's roofing, gutters, siding, windows, soffit, reach out to Chris Hall. Reach out to me. We'd be happy to get you in touch with him. For those of you looking to buy or sell real estate, please contact me, Rockin' Real Estate with Regina and Caldwell Banker Heritage. You guys have a blessed night and a safe weekend. Bye, guys.